be not afraid. Those were the first words that St. John Paul II said as he began his pontificate. They're words that guided all that he did. They guided his papacy and they guided his life. Today I'm going to talk about St. John Paul II, and I am going to talk about him related to the virtue of justice. Let me begin by telling a story about St. John Paul II's early life. The story is told by Jerzy Kluger. Jerzy Kluger, one of St. John Paul II's friends for a lifetime, tells a story about when they were children, the Catholics and the Jewish people were separated because there was growing anti-Semitism. And so they would be playing soccer together and there would be Catholics on one side and the Jewish people on another side. There wasn't quite enough numbers on, on the Jewish side. And so they were, the Catholics were easily beating the Jewish people. St. John Paul II decided that is unjust. And so he volunteered to join the Jewish team. This was unheard of at the time, and through that, him and Kluger became lifelong friends. In 1942, St. John Paul II was ready to enter the priesthood. He recognized that Christ was calling him to enter the seminary. Unfortunately, at that time, the seminary was driven underground because of the Nazi regime. He entered anyways because it was the right thing to do. It was what he was called to do by Christ at that moment. So at the risk of his own life, he entered the seminary. In October 1978, St. John Paul II was elected Pope. He is known for being a Pope of justice, for fighting against communism, for fighting for the dignity of each and every person. He fought against the culture of death. He believed in a culture of life. He did not like that people were being treated as instruments. They were being used and abused. So whenever he would see that, he would fight against that because he believed in the inherent dignity of all mankind. He is celebrated worldwide for what he did, for fighting for justice. He was a Pope of peace. He believed in the dignity and right to life. When we think about St. John Paul II, we can think of him as a guide to life, a guide to how to treat our fellow man and woman to treat them with the inherent dignity that they deserve, to fight for them, to help them. We fight for justice and we can recognize St. John Paul II as a guide to how to do that. Be not afraid. I say it once again, because that is what we have to be when we go out and we stand for justice. Let us end in prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear Lord, help us when we are afraid. Help us to trust in you, Lord. When we are afraid, allow us to stand up for justice. Allow us to have the courage that we need. We pray that we can always stand up for what is right. And we ask for your mother's intercession as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.